his opponent. Jan Moxley!
winner of this match, the American Dragon, Brian Danielson. What an exciting match we've had tonight. Revolution is televised. The following contest is set for one fall. Man, this should be one hell of a singles match. Making his way to the ring, the machine, Brian King. And his opponent, the Murderhawk Monster, Lance Archer.
winner of this match, the Murder Hawk Monster, Lance Archer. Man, what a match. I'm so glad I was here to call it. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing the champions, Hikaru Shida. And her tag team partner, Ruby. Introducing the challengers, Anna J. And her tag team partner, Ty Mello. The winners of this match, and still the AEW World Tag Team Champions, Hikaru Shida.
making his way to the ring. They call him the Spanish God, Sammy Guevara. And his opponent, Scorpio Sky. Next, Absolute Ricky Starks. The revolution is televised. And he is a bastard. Ha!
Here is your winner, Absolute Ricky Starks. What a tremendous match by all the competitors. Won't answer that. Ring, 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 ring. Another missed call. He won't answer his phone. Really sorry I missed y'all. Really sorry I missed y'all. Should've hit the brick. Won't answer that. Ring, 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 ring. Another missed call. He won't answer his phone. Really sorry I missed y'all. Really sorry I missed y'all. Should've hit the brick phone. It's an invasion. We searching for mass weapons. Big Daddy Kane told me ain't no half stepping. Showed up to the Making his way to the ring. Power. House. Huh. And his opponent. He is the devil god. Le Champion. Chris Jericho. The winner of this match, Power House. I can't believe I was here for this amazing matchup. It was a classic, to say the least. And one thing we'll be talking about for years to come. This bout is set for one fall. This is a highly anticipated match. Making his way to the ring, Kenny. Omega! And his 
his opponent, the Redeemer, Miro. The winner of this match, the Redeemer, Miro! It's been crazy, it's been wild. What a great match we've had tonight. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. I hope you've enjoyed the show so far, thus far. And now it's going to be the women's AEW championship match. Nyla Rose and Chris Statlander. Chris Statlander being the championship. Nyla Rose being the challenger. What's going to happen next? We don't know, but I promise you, 
It's going to be one hell of a good show. I'm back on commentary. And you know you gotta love it. Here we go. Let's get this match started. Too sweet. Quite quick. I think you'll love it. So what did you guys think about the matches thus far, so far, in the night, in the show that you've seen so far? It's going to be the shortest pay-per-view ever. Premium night event. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I thought the Brian Danielson match was dope. I was in it. The Brian Cage and Lance Archer was eh. Okay, the tag team match for the women was pretty good. Uh, you got the four-way, which I thought was all over the place, but ultimately it was pretty fucking awesome. Then you had Powerhouse Hobbs. Powerhouse Hobbs, gotta say that right. Beating the shit out of Chris Jericho, and I think we all love that. Jericho had to roll out of the ring, it was awesome. And that last match, Kenny Omega and Miro, what a great match. It wasn't phenomenal. It wasn't 10 stars or 11 like it should be, but it was still phenomenal. And then we're taking off right here. Nyla Rose puts Chris Statlander down with a Statlander down with a uh, clothesline. And look at that. Reverses Statlander when she tries to come back. Quick counter. And just beating Statlander down, she might be taking the title in the championship tonight. Quickly hear it all out and a power slam off of the shoulder right then and there. And she's going for it. Might be looking for the choke slam here against Statlander. And just laying the blows in to Statlander. I don't think she has any other option here other than to quit. Puts her down. Just smashing her. That was a good drop. Big drop. from the, Not from the top, but, you know, from, from uh, standing position. Off of the rope. Takes her in for the spinning side slam. That was great. And then she does another big splash. Stomping on her. Going for that leg. Putting some of these strikes to the head with some of those slaps and chops. And then Statlander firing back, trying to come back here. Drops her right on the side with a rib breaker or whatever you want to call it. Statlander calling for the taunt. She's calling for a move. She's calling her shot. Wow, big backdrop from Statlander. And she tries to do a senton, a flipping senton, but that was no good. Here's Nyla Rose coming back. <laughs> Oh, it's Chris Statlander, I mean, staying on top. Putting the elbows and the chops in. And I don't think Nyla Rose has anything or any answer to this offense right now. She just keeps taking it all. And, and here's Statlander with a quick reversal under the ducks. Oh, my God. And right into the backbreaker. A fucking spinning tilt a whirl backbreaker. That was phenomenal. And then look at that. Just a nice power slam, just scoop power slam, and then, oh man, Nyla Rose takes Statlander down with a big clothesline, Statlander hanging in there, she wants to keep her title, she wants to keep the championship, a spinning tilt to world backbreaker again, she wants to keep this championship, she wants to remain head of the women's division, but how can she do that, she wants to be the toughest woman there is, with this title around her waist, and look at that, puts Nyla Rose down with a over the shoulder takeover and then that clothesline and does the same thing to Chris Statlander and oh she puts that claw on right into the shoulder that grip is tight Nyla Rose calling her shot I think folks wow another big splash that might be it for Statlander who seemingly just stands back up and shakes it off right back to the strikes Statlander will not give up she will not relent folks she's calling for the boop the boop Statlander fighting with all her might to keep Nyla Rose down at the top rope and then she gets the big leg drop. Will this be it? No, no. Nyla Rose stands right back up. Statlander doing everything she can to chop that big beat tree down, including just yanking her down. And I think Nyla, or Nyla Rose may be going down here and uh, uh, Statlander going for it. Oh my God, Statlander going for it. This may be a three count. She puts her down. Oh, and Nyla Rose rolls out of there just in time. Statlander was going to go after her. And Nyla Rose is back on her. Another big power slam off of the shoulder. Chris Statlander may have been denied here, folks. She may have been denied. That may have been her only chance to retain her championship here tonight. We don't know what's going to happen, but this is all out because we don't have all in on AEW Fight Forever. It's a terribly broken fucking game, and Tony Khan needs to do his job, including hiring, calling, getting in contact, and paying people like me to do this right here. 
Come on! Hang in there! Chris Statlander! Oh my god, she's going down! Nyla Rose has put her down! This might be it! Calling the shot! Nyla Rose going for the finisher! But Statlander's back up! She ducks it just in time! They're back into grappling position on her shoulders for the fireman's carry in to the knee! Drop all right into the gut, and that's crazy! Now, Nyla Rose doing everything she can to fight back! We're at a stalemate, a standstill here, folks. Onto her shoulders with a Samoan drop. Nyla Rose is not playing any games here, folks. And another, holy shit, a Death Valley driver. That's it. That's got to be it. One, two, it's over. Nyla Rose, folks, is your new AEW Women's Champion. What a phenomenal match. That was insane. Certainly not the outcome we expected. Champion. She is the native beast, Nyla Rose. Wow, what a phenomenal match. That was phenomenal. Probably the best match of the night thus far, if we're being honest. But it won't beat the main event. However, before we get to the main event, we've got another tag team bout for you. It's going to be Cody Rhodes and Hangman Adam Page versus D. Young. Bucks. I gotta figure out how to edit this stuff so that you guys don't see me selecting everything because this part can be really boring. Anyway, this has been a pretty good PLE or pay-per-view, premium live event, whatever you want to call it. Or AEW All Out, AEW Fight Forever. I've been your host, your booker, and your commentator, Psych. I'm that nigga, and I don't want you to ever forget it. Higher education than most people, more than just a high-minded rhetoric. And I don't mind reminding you. 23 years of self-defense, and the match is starting. Let's go. Is a Just a reminder, if you have not, go over to District 9, our channel now on YouTube, and check out some of our music. This is Cody Rhodes. Look at him coming in all hot. That Pyro's hot, folks. <laughs> and his tag team partner, Hayman. The butterfly jean wearing cowboy. Nobody likes Hangman Adam Page or the Young Bucks. Fuck them all. Fuck all three of them. Fuck the elite. But we love Cody Rhodes. Who volunteered for this match just to help Hangman? Wow, that was terribly edited. We only wish they could have gotten their shit together before they put this game out. This is AEW Fight Forever, AEW All Out. I'm your host, Psych, and this match is underway. It's not for a championship, but it is a blood feud, if you will. Young Bucks quick to the tag, and now Cody Rhodes stopping that short. Trying to cut off the ring for the Young Bucks. Hangman back on the other Buck. Balding Buck and Retarded Buck are at it again. Look at that kick to the thigh. That was a beautiful kick by Adam Hangman Pussy Page. The Butterfly Gene Wearing Cowboy is back at it. He's here in the ring. He's not even the legal man. It's Cody Rose and Matt, Na uh, Matt Nick Jackson. We don't know which one. Matt Jackson, that's right. All right, and now he's going to go for a backdrop. Beautiful, classic wrestling. Love the locking up. Now he's going for the tag. Everybody is not supposed to get in the ring upon a tag. You need to understand this, AEW, Tony Khan, whoever, Young Bucks. Y'all need to understand this. When a tag is made, that doesn't mean everybody get into the ring. At no point in the match does it mean that everybody needs to get into the ring. There is no such thing. Not in today, not in yesterday, and not in tomorrow's wrestling. You need to understand that. That's some shit you made up with your friends. But we're here now watching Hangman Adam Page and Cody Rhodes take on the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. And we don't like the Young Bucks. Nobody likes the Young Bucks. Let's be honest. If you like the Young Bucks, you're a child. Now, Matt Jackson is staying on Adam Hangman Page, so this match may go in favor of the Young Bucks, unfortunately. Pushing the fucking numbers down. Losing our ratings in Adam Hangman Page with a boot to the face in the corner. Beautiful. 
Just beautiful overhead suplex by Cody Rhodes to Matt Jackson. Now he's on Nick Jackson. Damn, what an elbow drop. Look at that. Death Valley driver from Adam Heyman Page to Matt Jackson. And now Nick Jackson out of the ring. Adam Heyman Page out of the ring. Now it's back between Matt and Cody. Matt calling it a shot on Cody. I don't think he's going to be able to get it. Cody is up in spirits. He's feeling the high morale. And he hasn't even managed to tag in Adam Hangman Page since coming into the ring. And now these two are just going, these four are going back and forth. They're not stopping. We don't know what's going to happen. Look at the kicks coming from Cody Rhodes. And then Nick reverses. Wait, Nick is on Cody Rhodes. Matt puts down Adam Hangman Page. And then Nick puts down Cody Rhodes. And now Adam and Matt are out of the ring. And it's down to Nick and Cody. Nick goes for the flip. Cody dodges and then Cody does the same thing, doing the dive out of the ring. And he hits Nick Jackson. That was fucking beautiful. Damn. A knee slam or a knee drop or a knee whatever you want to call it to Cody Rhodes. That might put him out of commission for the rest of the match. We don't know. And here's Nick, Matt Jackson with one of the stupidest moves you'll ever see in wrestling. He has a terrible back bridge. Young Bucks doing everything they can to cheat the system, cheat the game, and cheat the wrestling match itself. Look at this. Triple, quadruple, five count, 17 Northern Lights suplexes in a row. And then a German suplex to Hangman from Nick Jackson. That was crazy. That was between Nick Jackson and Cody Rhodes. And I hope Cody Rhodes can get the job done because quite honestly, bro, we don't want to see the wrestling business or what would that piece of shit shit stain say what would he call it wrestling the wrestling business we don't want to see it go down we want to see it survive we want to see it flourish and oh my god the young bucks just won this match three count nick jackson picking up the pin for matt jackson because matt jackson's a pussy and that's the end of this match i cannot believe the young bucks went over ladies and gentlemen i'm disgusted i'm disgusted at the events that took place here tonight do these men have no decency? Do they have no morale? Do they not know the difference between right and wrong? This was a horrible display of sportsmanship. Anyway, now on to our main event of the evening. Your exploding barbed wire death match. It's gonna get crazy, it's gonna be insane, it's gonna be Dex Hardwood taking on the monster the man, the myth, whatever he is, Malachi Black. This one's for the big stuff, ladies and gentlemen. Look at these three championships he has, and he's putting the main one on the line. He's brave, but he's not going to beat Dax Hardwood here tonight. The following contest is an exploding barbed wire death match. And it is for... Please like, share, and subscribe if you've been watching and you enjoyed everything that you've seen. Can you believe an exploding barbed wire death match right here, right now? Introducing the champion, Malachi Black. Lame-oid. We're taking that one around the race, buddy. Introducing the challenger. It's the one and no me, Dax Hardwood. Hardwood. This match is about to get violent really fast. Don't know where he was going. Suplex straight to Malachi Black. Dax Hardwood and Malachi Black into it already. This is a high profile match, ladies and gentlemen. Look at this. Now exchanging fisticuffs, chops, slaps, and kicks, and neither man is trying to get knocked down or go down to the other. This is going to be crazy if it keeps going. And the explosion, the counter, the countdown we already saw. Oh, and Dax Hardwood thrown right into the rope. And now we don't know what's going to happen. Can Dax Hardwood hang in there and battle with Malachi Black in a match like this? This is Mr. Lights Out himself. We know the games. We know the name of the games. 
There's nothing you can do, Malachi, to stop us from hurting you. And the counter is getting closer, ladies and gentlemen. What will happen? Look at all these chops and everything exchanged between Malachi Black and Dax Harwood. And Dax Harwood is not relenting. He wants Malachi to bleed. The same way Cash Wheeler had to bleed, who we have not seen since. The lights out match between him and Malachi Black. Right into the table of barbed wire. My God. would take the tap out if he could get it and then the explosion stops the tap out i think malachi was going to give up there folks i think that was going to be it at the end of the match but but damn it he stays in there and 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 now these men barely rising to their feet covered in blood Hardwood hanging in there. Dax Hardwood has had enough of Malachi Black. Man, the blood is everywhere. It's spilled everywhere. This is violent. This is brutal, ladies and gentlemen. Exploding barbed wire death all out. That might be it. Did he just... That might be it for Malachi, ladies and gentlemen. Come on with the three. He kicks out at one. My God. There's no way he survives again. There's no way Malachi, the champion, can kick out again. That's gotta be it. Into another barbed wire, table, board, whatever you want to call it. This has gotta be the three. Oh my god, Malachi kicks out. this be it for Malachi Black? Is the championship secure? No! Dax Hardwood cannot get the job done against Malachi Black here. He may have to get that submission like he wanted to get earlier. That's gotta be it, folks. It's gotta be the three. Is it over? Oh my god, at 2.99, Malachi Black kicking out. What will put Malachi Black down? What will be the thing, the thing to finish this fiendish menace once and for all? One, two, three. It's over. I can't believe it's over. One more throw into the ropes of bloody violent match ladies and gentlemen your new aew world heavyweight champion dax hardwood of ftr what a phenomenal match what a phenomenal show that was just one hell of a way to go out i couldn't have imagined a better way to do it malachi black has finally been de dethroned after after weeks and a month or two months or so of just non-stop domination 
in this division. Non-stop domination in these violent lights out matches. And Dax Hardwood has gotten revenge, gotten payback for his friend Cash Wheeler, who we hope to see again. FTR will return on AEW Dynamite next week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Psych, your host, your booker, your commentator. This has been AEW All Out, AEW Fight Forever. Thanks for watching.